Hey guys, I just wanted to do a really quick video today going over some um, travel art supplies. Just stuff I would take like on a trip and you know it changes every time depending on where I'm going or for how long or if it's one of those things where you just kind of sit there all day or if you're walking around all day. If I'm walking around all day I like to kind of keep things very minimal and very light. So um but for, you know, a trip where I can have a little bit more weight, I can take, you know, maybe all this stuff. So this is just a makeup case, and let me see. So it had some sections in it. And this was a good section for, like, a little travel journal. This one's really, this is by Hanamule. It's a watercolor journal, and it's very very lightweight because it's not the best quality watercolor paper so it's very kind of thin and, and lightweight which actually makes it great for travel and then over here let's see this is like a pet drinking cup but it makes for a great bowl for um for water it's nice and and thick and a nice you know sturdy base some um, paper towels i have a little travel cup this is great for like uh, watercolor brushes because you don't need a lot of water for those and it's actually waterproof i know that because i uh left a bunch of water in there one time and it didn't leak so that was nice that was a nice surprise and usually i'll put like those little clips in there but right now i don't have them in there but usually you know and then you can clip it to your notebook so this one's really nice and it's um because it's plastic it's very lightweight as well and then moving on to the actual watercolors i have this core one which i love and um instead of having like a paper with all the colors i just kind of painted them on the silicone and it pretty much stayed so i kind of it, i can see what the colors are like by looking over here so it's kind of nice that way i don't have like a paper to fiddle with and this is a really great little watercolor palette for travel. It has like everything you need. It's only 12 colors, but you know, it's um, very comprehensive. It did a good job with that. Um, and maybe I'll show you the other little watercolor palettes. And I have this one, like a more standard one. This is um, all Sennelier, except this is a Windsor and Newton White because I just had it kind of like leftover so I stuck it in there so this is great for travel as well but it is definitely this weighs more for sure um, if you want something super lightweight for watercolors I think I have a tutorial on how I made this um, but this is great I've used this a bunch and I even replaced the colors one time that I didn't like or whatever. You can, they'll peel out. You can just peel them out and put them in like a different palette and refill it with whatever you want. Um, these are all Holbein. And then I just use this for mixing on and it works perfectly fine. So this is a great little palette and I'll show you. It goes with um, my traveler's notebook goes with here like if I'm taking this for scrapbooking on a trip I just pop it in there in one of the rubber bands and it's literally it weighs nothing so this one is really great for that um, another one of my favorite watercolor palettes for travel is this thing that I made I think I might have a tutorial on how I made this too I forget um, but basically I kind of um, what are those called the, the tr I forget um, but anyways you guys know what I'm talking about they sell these like little credit card holder paint palettes but they were like a rather pricey so I decided to make my own so I just bought one of these I just made sure I bought like a thicker um, card case and um, just to make sure I had enough space for all the watercolors but I think it would have been fine either way because the little pans that go in it are very flat like you can see there's plenty of space left so even if I got like a um like a flatter one it would have been fine and then I bought these little basically makeup 
empty pans from AliExpress. So they were really cheap. It was like a couple dollars. So this thing was like a few dollars on Amazon. It was very cheap. And I, I found one that was like very lightweight too. This one like, this weighs like nothing. Um, and then these are all um, Sennelier as well because I had them in tubes. And I have all the colors here because I had a little space left. And this is actually, like I've used this a few times. And I took them on beach vacations where it was very hot and humid. And they did not melt at all. Even though people were like, oh, you know, Sennelier will melt with the honey. But it, it's totally fine. And then this is just spray paint. Um, it does stain a little, but it's fine. And also you can always replace it with like a plastic that you just glue down and that's fine too. So I keep it in, I was keeping it in this little bag, like a, um, a trading card bag, just because I thought it might melt and go everywhere, but it never did. And it's the, the credit card or the trading card bag is big enough that you can like even close it. And then, so this is one of my favorites. I love this one. What else do I have? Oh, I do have these, but I never got around to actually like making it. So I've been lazy, but I do have these. So this would, this would be great for travel if I like got around to making like a little palette out of it. We'll see. Um, and then let's see. Then the actual notebooks I already showed you a mule one then I have this is a moleskin watercolor little album it's even smaller so it's a it's a bit small and the landscape layout's not my favorite but it's also very lightweight they're they actually weigh about the same yeah so this is very lightweight too so it's nice to take on trips and obviously if you have the space and you don't care about the weight you can take much bigger ones but you know um these little um, Hobonichi notebooks are super lightweight and really nice to take on trips as well. They don't weigh anything. Um, and you can watercolor in them because it's Tomo River paper. And you can obviously write in them, but you can also, you know, draw, paint, do whatever in them too. And these are great. Like, they fit in everything. You have a small art creation one. It's like four and a half by four and a half. But it is rather heavier because it's a lot of pages so it's not ideal but it's an option and then if I think I'm going to be painting painting or I have time for that I'll take like a watercolor pad and this is five by seven and then I have a four by six one so you can take a really small one if you have time or you think you might have time so um that's good too and Okay, and then I'll be, this is just a pencil case. And I like this one because it opens like this. So, and then I filled it with a bunch of watercolor pencils, some markers, and regular pencils. And I just kind of like selected which ones I thought would be kind of the most useful. And then I also made a little travel case. This is from a Fisher Space Pen. And I took like a $1, hold on. One dollar box of Crayola pencils, and I cut them in half. So then I got two sets of travel pencils from Crayola for uh, for a dollar. So that was nice. And then there's space in here for either an eraser or a little pencil sharpener as well. Like if you want to stick that in there, like if so. And then I have this pencil case, which I really like. Um, because you can even stick it like in a small backpack, like in the side pocket. And it will fit like five to seven or whatever. You know, it will, it will fit a good amount of stuff. Like even though it's small and very compact. So it's kind of nice that way. So, so I love these little pencil cases. And they were like a couple dollars on AliExpress. So, and then it just goes right into like a little side pocket somewhere. So that's, you know, you can, that's actually a lot of stuff. All of that fit in there. So, and I have little travel scissors. These are so cute. And I just hold, keep them in here. And these are small enough you can even bring them in a carry-on because the blade is very small. 
you know, if you only have a carry-on. And then I got these soft pastels recently. These would be good for travel too. This has 32 colors and it's very lightweight and very compact. And then I have this. This is also from Hobonichi. It's a pencil case. But these things are actually like super great. I love this one. It fits so much stuff and it always zips up no matter how much you put in there, which is pretty impressive. So, and a lot of times what I'll do is over in this compartment. Oh, what's in there? I have something in there. Oh, I have that, that in there. I'll put this like in here is what I'll do. That, that's where I usually put that. And then over here, I put all my washi tapes. So like some little travel washi tapes and then some, I have like some nice flat ones. So these are great for travel because they're, you know, very compact as well because they're so flat. And then I have just an assortment of pencils, some pens for like writing or whatever. Um, I micron this, my favorite like little eraser. It's it like it literally weighs nothing and you can even bring a refill if you want um just one mechanical pencil another micron um more outlining stuff another pen just for fun um water brush pens and then i think one is just an extra small and one is a brush tip um, this is a little like mint container. I just put a sticker on it and I use it for my um, needed eraser. So this is a great little container for that. Um, I think I had mints or gum that I peeled off and then I put a little sticker on. And then, sorry. And then in here, it fits a ton of stuff too. I have some white acrylic gouache some white regular gouache. I just picked containers that were like, this was like a little small one, so it was a nice travel size. And these are great because if you mix them with watercolors, it basically, you get gouache out of it, basically. So just bringing a bunch of watercolors and some and white gouache and you're good to go. Um, just a little cute eraser for colored pencils. So, oh, here's some with the clips. This is a great eraser. I love this brand. It's the Kum, K-U-M, um, but it's just the little metal part, so it's great for travel. Then a refill, because I'm only bringing one pencil, so then I want to bring refills. Uh, more clips, more clips, blending stump, a glue stick, but this is like a mini glue stick, so it's nice and compact. A little mini mister from Tim Holtz. Um, and then watercolor brushes. So basically all of these, I think pretty much are from AliExpress, I'm not sure. Yeah, so this one is like this. And then, oh, this one actually might be, oh yeah, this is a Skoda. This is a really nice one. This is a Skoda. And then these other two are just like regular, regular watercolor brushes from AliExpress. So they were in a set and it was very cheap. So AliExpress is really great for that. A lot cheaper than a Skoda. <laughs> um, yeah, so, and it all kind of fits in here and I'll, I'll mix up what, what I put and where I put it for, like I said, for each trip, because if I'm gonna be walking around all day with a backpack, then probably all I'm bringing is like the notebook, the watercolors, and, and a case this big. So I'll bring like a pencil, one outliner, maybe an eraser. Um, and then at that point, just fill in with a few oh, like watercolor brushes. Like I'll bring like one watercolor brush, right? And then maybe like one pen to write with. And then at that point, really, I mean, you're kind of, that's pretty much all you actually need if you're gonna be walking around all day and you don't want it to be heavy. And then like a little notebook or whatever, and you're pretty much good to go. So yeah, and then actually, 
but like if you want to experiment you can see how much more still fits in there like if you wanted to include like a few pencils for like outlining or whatever you could and you know you can still get like a good amount of stuff in there maybe not that much so like that so these so these are great um but again, if it's a day where you're just kind of sitting around all day or like you're going to the beach and you don't have to like actually carry things, then you can bring more stuff. You still want to bring travel stuff just because, you know, you don't have like a whole huge space to lay everything out, but, but it can be a little bit more travel stuff. So, oh, and then, so I would bring that, that I would probably bring like the little water container. Um, just because I do like to still dip my watercolor brushes into water to rinse them out. And then, I don't know. I think that's pretty much all I... Oh, and then in here is where I would put the clips. So I would still have the clips. And they fit really great in here. So and that's it. And that's, that's pretty much it. It's nice and compact. So anyways, that's... That's pretty much it. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions and I hope that was kind of useful. Thanks for watching. Bye.